All right. In order to create curve on an iPad or your phone, you would need an external program or an app on your iPad. You cannot create a curved text directly in Cricut Design Space. So the one easy program that I had found is called Fonto. So if I go into that program or that app, um, I will be able to create a curved text. So if you do not have Fonto on your iPad or your phone, go to your app store and download that now. Once you've downloaded it, you can open the program. Up at the top, you're going to always see some type of advertisement of some sort. Uh, you can kind of ignore that, or if you want to join some groups um, and so on and so forth that have been developed uh, surrounding this particular app, you could do that. But I'm going to show you how to curve your text. So notice down the bottom you have three different sections, one on the right hand side, one on the left, and one in the middle. We're going to concentrate using the one on the middle, which is a, a uh, camera picture. Tap on the camera picture and it gives you some options. So today we're going to actually use just the plain image. So we're going to create a canvas. We're going to tap on plain image and there's many to choose from. We're just going to hit the white one, white square right here. Now we need to go up to the right hand corner of this box and see the little square with the arrow. We're going to tap that on and it gives us some options here. What we want to do is we want to use this square as our canvas. So we're going to tap on the word use. And as you can see, the white canvas is right here on my screen. Now I want to go down to anywhere on the canvas and tap. And then the word add text comes up. So you're going to tap on the add text and then you're going to start typing your words. Actually, I'm going to do this. Capitalize love I curves. Um, now you can change the font by going to whatever fonts you want this to be. My fonts, so I have a few fonts in here. Um, and just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it with its um, font that the program had chosen. <clears throat> it really doesn't matter where you align this at. So you can leave the align alone, and then we're just going to hit done. Now as you can see, it's in white and it's off of my mat. So I'm going to drag it on my mat by tapping on my finger and dragging it. I want to change the color, so we need to go to style to do that. Tap on style. And if you stay on the text, so you can get text, the stroke, the background, we're going to stay on the text and we are going to change the color okay, to black or whatever color you want and then hit the word done at the right hand up at the right hand corner all right now you notice this it, i'm still uh, highlighting my words if i was not highlighting my words my box will go away if i tap on the words again the box comes up <coughs> Here I have several options. I have text, font, style, size, tilt, and more. So I was playing around with this and I kept hitting on the more. And all that does is I'm able to tap on <coughs> moving my text wherever I want on my canvas. Let's get back to that. So I've heard that we could do curves, so I started playing around with this to see where the curve is. And I realized that there's this little arrow right next to the word style, or right in between next to the word style and move. This little arrow here. I tried tapping on that, and that wasn't working. So I took my finger and I swiped my finger 
to oh, swipe my finger to the left. And then this gave me some more options. It gives me curved 3D and erase. The 3D and the erase, you cannot use those unless you upload some additional purchased tools. But we can curve. So I'm just gonna hit the curve. And you'll notice this little slide bar. We can go up or down, take your word. And go back to the curve. And I don't want it quite that much. So see how I'm, this goes too fast for me, but I can. Hit the plus or the minus button until I get it to where I want it to be. Right. And then we're going to just tap on the anywhere on the canvas. Now I want to save that. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and you've got the little square with the arrow. Tap that. And this gives me my options. So I want to save it as a PNG. And once it has been successful, you can hit OK. And then ads always pop up. So you just want to exit out of the ads. No big deal. Now we're going to close out of that program. Open up Cricut Design Space. We're going to tap on a new project. We're going to hit up Upload. Select from the photo library. We're going to hit Recent. Tap on my most recent one I did. Now here, if you were to just continue with the next, it's going to cut out just the square. So you need to remove the background from the words. You're going to go down here to the uh, bottom where it says remove, tap that on. Now you want to take your finger and tap anywhere you see white. So first we're going to work with the background. Now that, if you look at the box, this is what it's going to cut out. So we still have to fix the O and the R. So we want to take our fingers and pinch out to make our words bigger. And then we're gonna tap in the, into the O and come in here into the R. Oop. If you make a mistake and you tap things more than you want to, you just go down to the undo. Let's go a little closer, my finger's a little fat. All right, so now I got the R, got the O, I think we're good to go. So we're gonna hit next. Okay, so you don't have to clean anything up, just hit next. And we're going to save it as a cut file. Give it a name, hit done, and now we can tap on that image and insert it into or onto our canvas. Now if you're using your Cricut Joy, it needs to be a specific size. It can't go over a certain size. Come down here under layers and you see a triangle. It's telling us that there's an error. And it's telling me that this image is too big, that it is not supported by the joy. So we're going to go back and change the size of my image. I'm going to go down to edit. And I'm going to keep the lock locked so it stays in proportion. And I'm going to change the width to, let's say, 4.25. I can go up to uh, 4.50, but I'm going to do 4.25. And now it is ready to be cut on the Cricut Joy. If you were cutting it out on any of the other machines, of course you can make it whatever size your mat will hold. I'm going to share with you how you can create a background or a shadow effect around your curve text. Now I'm back in the photo program and I still have my Love My Curves up here. So if I go if I go tap on the words, my option box comes up. 
and I'm going to go to style and then if you notice before I showed you where there was the text the stroke and the background the background would be the canvas so if I were to tap on a color it's going to change the background of the canvas if I go to stroke that's going to change the background of my image of my words this is where we would create our shadow on our word so right now uh, let's change the right the stroke to let's go back to text I'm going to take the text and I'm going to get a text white I'm going to hit my stroke and I'm going to make my stroke black going to come down here to the width and if you drag the width you could see that it will shadow your words so let's say I want to go let's say right about there then I'm going to hit done I'm going to tap on my canvas now I want to save that just like I did before I'm going to go down here to the bottom right hand corner where the square with the arrow is bring Cricut design space up oh. move this over I'm going to come up and upload select image from library recent click on my um, my word and again you have the black background tap on remove I'm going to remove the background and now I'm going to go in and remove each center of the word no need to clean up again you just hit next save it as a cut file and I'm going to do love my curves I'm going to tap that on and hit insert and then here we go we have our background now in order to create um, the word and a background separately you what you would do is duplicate that okay and then go gosh, I'll keep them separate so you know what I'm doing here we're going to go down to edit we're going to change this one to let's say pink I'll leave the other one uh, black so we're going to take that pink one we're going to go to actions we're going to go hide contour here's where we are going to hide all the outlay outline So bring back down. Now I can move. This is my center. Okay, as you can see, I still messed up on the app. So let's see what I need to do. So it's there. You have it. There is our background and our center text.